dawn of November 8, 2013, Super Typhoon Haiyan made landfall on the Philippine Islands. Locally called Yolanda, it brought the Eastern Visayas, where the storm first hit, to the world stage. The gravity of the devastation made world headlines, prompting relief and aid to pour in from governments and non-government organizations all over the planet. Among them was Plan International, one of the oldest and largest children's development organizations who basically work to promote child rights and to take millions of children out of poverty. Fast forward one year after the storm, disaster relief is no longer the utmost priority of most NGOs working on Yolanda ravaged communities, but rather on improving the self-sufficiency and resiliency of these communities. With financial support from Irish Aid, Plan worked with the Philippine Partnership for the Development of Human Resources in Rural Areas, FILDRA, to bring back lost livelihood in Eastern Samar. The project targeted vulnerable households and individuals who have not received any prior Yolanda livelihood assistance from other agencies or NGOs. Eastern Samar was where Haiyan first hit, virtually leveling the province. The project benefited a little more than 1,400 beneficiaries from four municipalities in Eastern Samar. They conducted trainings to improve the beneficiaries' technical and business skills. In those trainings, the beneficiaries were tasked to create their own business plans. Now, while other agencies stopped that training, the Irish Aid Project went further to provide cash capital so that the beneficiaries can put to work their proposed business plans. The cash capital grants range from 11,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos, and the livelihoods were classified as either agriculture, consisting of livestock raising, farming, and fisheries, and micro-enterprises, ranging from rice vending, to tricycle driving, to operating a sari-sari store, among others. A year after the project started, we take a look at the beneficiaries and ask them how they are now. Here are some of their stories. A family breadwinner from her nanny, Eastern Samar, in the person of Ernesto Basilan, was brought down to his knees after Yolanda hit. His one successful hollow block business was washed out and his wife was tragically crippled. Though not yet fully recovered, Ernesto is slowly getting back on his feet. <laughs> His wife is paralyzed from the hips down after being hit in the back by a log during Yolanda's storm surge, and Ernesto now takes it upon himself to earn their family a living while taking care of his wife. Despite all that's happened, with the 16,400 pesos worth of capital provided by the Irish Aid Project, Ernesto can more willingly look at the brighter side of life. He admits it's not enough to scale up the business, but he is thankful he is able to provide small employment to the community. Dried fish wholesaler from Mercedes Eastern Samar and the person of Esther likewise lost her livelihood to the storm. As with other victims, her hopes of survival was bleak. <laughs> With the Irish Aid Livelihood Assistance, Esther got her business running again and she is ever grateful to the donor and implementers. Seventy-two year old Lucia lost her livelihood when Yolanda washed out her store. She 
She presented herself to a veil of livelihood aid from another NGO, but she was turned down. But this was not the case when she applied for the Irish Aid Livelihood Project. With the provided training and capital, Lucia's rice vending business bounced back. Now she's able to provide for her family. More than just asking the beneficiaries themselves, we also wanted to know how the project affected the young generation. And here's what we found out. The benefits were more than material for Lucia. Her grandchild once expressed interest to venture into the prepaid loading business. And Lucia was the ever willing and now capable investor. <laughs> With the project implementers and donor, she has this to say. The second year computer science student of ESSU Borongan, Jude, the son of a beneficiary from Balangkayan, Eastern Samar, acknowledges his mother's livelihood. Early in the morning, before going to school, as well as in the afternoon, after arriving from school, he tends to his mother's pigs, the manifestation of the livelihood assistance provided by the Irish Aid Project. When asked how he is in school, Jude is confident and proud. He rejects the notion that he is shunned among peers because of his household obligations. Jude does not ask for compensation from his mother for his tending her pigs. He does, however, look forward to buying new clothes from the piggery's first profit. Justin Norime Biato is the daughter of the widow Marilyn Biato, an Irish Aid Project beneficiary from Salcedo, Eastern Samar. Pag after nahal, pag parang waray, kasi dati waray talaga kami. Isang yan, di kami nakaon, kay waray nang pinapalit talaga. Waray nang maluluto or waray ni nanay na himon tinapay kasi waray man din yung mga papalitan. When the Irish Aid Livelihood Project came, she testifies to the profound improvement the project has brought to their respective lives. Sa ako, kung kuan ang epekto nga na kuan ha, han pa kabuhay ni nanay kasi dati, pag may naaro ako yung han mga pangpagskulahan, di rin niya na hatagtanan na kung mga kinahanggan. Pero pag abot po ito nga, ito niya Irish Aid. Okay naman po, nahatag na niya nga tanan, anong mga kinahanglan, mga projects, mga baraydan ng eskwilahan, tuition po na makakabayan na diha pa kong tuhay. And so she has but this one message to Irish Aid, Fildra, and Plan International. Thank you po na nabuligyan niyo kami. Hindi ako liwat ng salamat kasi na improve talaga anong kuwan, anong negosyo ang ilahe ito na iyo. These are just some of the stories of the Irish Aid Livelihood Project beneficiaries. Their sources of income were all crippled when Yolanda came, and most of them were either ignored or denied by other NGOs when they applied for livelihood assistance. But with the Irish Aid Project, their sources of livelihood were restored, bringing back their positive outlook in life and enabling them to support their family's needs. Some of them have even diversified their livelihood using income gained from the project. And more than helping them get back on their feet, the project's benefits redound to the beneficiary's children. When we ask them, they acknowledge that the cash capital they receive is not the whole tree, but only the seed. And it's now up to them to make those seeds grow.
they also acknowledge that the Irish Aid Project lived up to the child-oriented nature of Plan International, providing for the beneficiaries' children and producing positive behavior on the young generation. The project may not have provided everything they need to fully get them back on their feet, but Plan International, with the help of Fildra, through the Irish Aid Project, gave back to the people hope. That first step towards bouncing back in life, that they may walk forward towards a bright tomorrow.